Right, hello guys, and welcome back to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer tutorial videos. Um, what I'm doing in this video is really just a very small update to the um, SEM clone type LM13700 trans operational transconductance amplifier uh, circuit. Um, what we have here in addition to the old one is basically a if we look at the schematic here my schematic is it's basically a dual VCA so we got one side which is exactly the copy other side of the other if we refer to the earlier video you will see the schematics I kind of go through how we replace the original CA3080 which was used in the original Oberheim anyway not going to go too much into that um, so if we quickly take a look what we have is a audio chain where we go into VCA1 with the audio and we output from VCA1 into VCA2. Now what we have on this one, why we need the dual one is so we can get a velocity response. So what it is, I built a MIDI to CV um, circuit using an Arduino and I was trying to figure out how I could get it to respond to velocity. Now I tried to seek some advice on the internet through there's a Facebook uh, synth DIY group that I'm kind of a part with and went through a few suggestions and the kind of I think the norm is kind of normally you will have an op amp so say for instance uh, here where your CVs come into you have an op amp and you basically sum all the signals now I think if the the op amp or sorry the VCA the voltage controlled amplifier topology was slightly different was the different sort of one where you have like the current mirror of two transistors, then you have an input in one with another sort of transistor. I, it could have worked, but I had a look, um, had a research on the internet, and I actually looked at an article which was from Sound on Sound, and actually Tom Oberheim himself said that it's not velocity responsive because that meant there would have been a big drastic design change, and it's actually virtually impossible to have that with the SEM module. So I kind of thought, mm, uh, he says it's impossible, but I kind of think, well, things are not impossible. There must be a workaround, there must be. So I had, I kept on searching, and then I looked, um, I found the thread on a Moog forum, and somebody mentioned using Velocity CV, and said that the way it was implemented is that you you need two VCAs. So I thought, okay, well, the LM13700 is a dual channel chip, why not use the other side? I've got a spare side. So if we have a look here, you can see this is our first side. And what I have is the incoming velocity control voltage from the MIDI. Now I have a switch here. I'll explain that in a minute. And on this second VCA, we have the envelope, the contour of the volume, which comes in through this uh, PNP transistor to the current control side of the operational transconductance amplifier. And so our first VCA is going to control our volume, how loud our signal is going to be overall. And then our second VCA is going to deal with the shape of that um, volume via your the settings on your envelope generator, the control voltage coming in from the envelope generator, shall I say. And also, as you can see here, I've managed to tie in the LFO, which actually works okay. So I can bring in sort of uh, the CV from the LFO for some amplitude modulation. Um, so try this one out and it worked successfully. Managed to tweak the actual, I had to put a trimmer from the Velocity CV in so it responded in accordance to the MIDI data being sent so I could get it to have a very good response, a noticeable response from 0 to 127 value when you sort of like through that and even when you hit a, key, a MIDI keyboard, any MIDI key, input keyboard, it works really well. Uh, but my problem was when I disconnected the whole thing, I it didn't work because I didn't have any velocity CV in. So I just kind of thought outside the box a little bit and thought, um, right, okay, how can I deal with this? So this is where this little op amp uh, reference voltage comes in. So what you do is basically uh, op amp can use a dual, can use a single, and this, these values of these resistors here will probably be slightly different depending on if we can see that's R, R1 and R2 will be, will be different depending on your overall um, supply voltage so I've got a simple voltage divider here which gives me about 3.5 to 4 volts out so what I did was put in a, uh, a two-way switch 
So when you don't have the MIDI CV in, you turn the switch on and you have a constant voltage going in, which is like, say, you know, replacing having a control voltage from the velocity in. So that's always on. So that's how I got my head around, uh, got my work around on that one. And it works absolutely boom. It works fine. So, yeah, so we can just see. I've just literally just upgraded it. Again, here's the sort of output stage. We go into the... Um, this dual op amp here, which is the NE5532, use that one because it's a low noise um, operational amplifier, and you can you could you could tinker around with that. If you if you look here, I've put adjust for desired gain. If you just want a unity gain, so exactly the same sort of um, in or output, but inverted, you just use a hundred k trimmer on that one. But I've wanted a bit of gain nice and loud so when that goes into the wave folder that's got a nice bit of meat to crunch onto so yeah and you can see decoupling a, a capacitor here just used to try and block any DC which you shouldn't really get at this stage anyway but you know kind of normal practice to be honest with you and that's about it people right anyway uh, if you've got any questions questions and any comments leave them in the comment section please and don't forget to subscribe and like and thanks for everybody for all your support over last year hope 2018 i can figure out some more stuff and bring you some more videos anyway take it take it nice and easy people and i'll catch you soon